Well, we are in for just a hot and steamy August day with highs approaching, if not hitting 90 today, high humidity and a fairly minimal shower and storm chance, which is good. Now there's a little bit of development. You can just start to see these clouds puffing up first signs of uh, some vertical development, the cloud cover, and eventually you can turn some of those into a shower, stray thunder shower. This is down towards Letcher County. Sun shining bright in the southeastern Kentucky. That's welcome to see as well. And if you look at the max track, all the active weather so far has been up across the Great Lakes. This is with an active frontal system. There's a cold front that's draped down from Chicago southwest. You can see some showers there. Uh, we did see some activity yesterday at the end of the weekend. Sunday into the afternoon had some scattered showers and a few thunder showers develop. And uh, again, very hit or miss nature of this precipitation shows you can go anywhere from Zip and Lawrenceburg to over an inch in Winchester. For today, the rain chance will be even more limited. There's really no trigger out there. Uh, and uh, we've got uh, enough in the way of um, a quiet day that you want to get out and take advantage of it. Now, that's not to say there's not going to be anything happening. You can see a few showers, thunder showers getting going. The main chance ramps up tomorrow as that frontal boundary I was just telling you about starts to sag south. As this seesaws in and starts to stall out, it'll concentrate shower and thunderstorm coverage along it by late afternoon, evening, and then continue it. Uh, overnight, we'll probably see a little bit of a reprieve and then notice the front still hanging out. It'll start to drop south as a cold front into Wednesday, which will extend that chance for scattered showers and storms around. So two days of fairly good coverage and not in a good way because some of this could be torrential rainfall that we're dealing with. And the future track shows once again over an inch in Frankfurt through Wednesday, uh, an inch in Jackson, tenth of an inch roughly around Somerset. You could double those numbers if you have a storm coming through. So we may end up with some localized flash flood issues that we'll have to watch out for, especially by late Tuesday and into Wednesday. And then all of a sudden, the rain chance just cuts off Thursday. So we pretty much just crank that spigot closed and catch some dry days ahead. Uh, there's a ridge of high pressure building in behind that departing cold front. It could hang out with us for a couple of days, and the timing couldn't be better. It's the weekend. It's 85 now. We've got the dew point in the 70s, so the air is really muggy out there, and you can feel it, but... It should be a fairly quiet day. Just a few showers, thunder showers getting going into the afternoon. Notice the temperature plummet. We could be talking about highs falling down into the 80s and then eventually, well, through the 80s and then into the 70s for the upcoming weekend. So a couple of more potentially active days to get through. Today, again, it's minimal. We're showing by later on this afternoon a low end chance for uh, isolated to a few showers, thunder showers. Uh, just keep an eye on the sky if you're out and about into the afternoon. Now, Tuesday, if you're out and about, completely different story. And notice it's spike, especially by later in the day, starting out at 9 a.m. By mid to late afternoon and in the evening, as that front settles in and stalls out for a, for a brief period, we'll see that rain chance really start to pop. Showers, thunder showers, possibility of locally heavy rain. Front still with us Wednesday, so we'll have one last swipe of some scattered showers and thunder showers. Could be some heavy rain associated with those as well. And then all of a sudden, we're in the clear. Our average high this time of the year is 87 degrees. So we could be running 10 degrees or more below normal into the upcoming weekend. Refreshing, lower humidity as well. Won't even feel like August for a couple of days. And that does sync up with the weekend. Overnight lows getting cool. Look at that, down in the 50s. We'll start to heat it back up early next week.